Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video I would like to show you once again 5 upcoming farming games that I'm looking forward to and I'm just gonna keep this intro super short and jump right into it. So the first game I would like to show you today is called Aka. In Aka you play as a cute red panda in a small open world that is filled with different biomes to explore. So from cloud forests to snowy mountains, you'll meet a wide variety of inhabitants to interact with, such as a giant capybara you can take a nap on. This game is just so cute, you can see it for yourself, it is adorable, and the hand-drawn art style reminds me quite a bit of Doraemon Story of Seasons, which I absolutely love, it's one of my favorite farming games on the Nintendo Switch, and all the characters and environment in Aka looks so interesting and original, and I just can't wait to discover what this fascinating world has to offer. There's of course farming in this game, otherwise it wouldn't be on this list, and the game description specifies that the farming is inspired by permaculture, which is the philosophy of working with nature rather than against it. So I'm not too sure what they're gonna do with that, if they will introduce some interesting farming mechanics that we're not used to seeing in typical farming games. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they will implement this. Aka will also feature a crafting system, so you'll be able to create your own furniture and decorate your farm. So it looks like there's gonna be quite a lot to do with that. Also, once you're done decorating, you can explore the world. And it seems like there's gonna be demons from your past that might come back to remind you what you wanna forget and you will have to solve their quest. So there is gonna be some kind of story to this game that we don't know a lot about. But yeah, I'm looking forward to discovering this story and just knowing more about this game that was announced not too, too long ago. So we don't know too much about it yet, but it is being developed by French indie developer Namra Games and it is currently scheduled for a PC release in 2022. The next game on our list is one I've been following for a while now and it took some time but we finally got to see the first trailer a few weeks ago. This game is called Yokai Inn and your goal will be to manage an inn for various creatures and spirits originating from Japanese folklore, which are called Yokai. A few types of yokai that will be included in the game are Kodama, Kitsune, Kappa, Oni and so many more interesting mythical creatures. And on top of taking care of these intricate guests at your inn, you'll also get to farm, craft, cook, raise animals including wild animals that you can adopt and even use as mounts. You'll also get to celebrate Japanese holidays, make friends as well as just exploring the world by swimming and climbing. So it seems like we're gonna have a lot of freedom in our movement and you can also craft, decorate your house, customize your character and more features will be revealed in the future. It seems like there's gonna be a lot to do in this game and I really like the Japanese folklore as well as the inn management elements to it and I think it really has the potential to make this game stand out from the others. Another thing that makes this game stand out is definitely the art style. So, Yokai Inn is being developed by Shiba Pixel, a very talented pixel artist and game dev, and you definitely should follow them if you'd like to see more of the beautiful pixel art that will be in this game. There's so much care put into every tiny little detail, and I think it's another one of these games that, even if you don't typically like pixel art, you might still enjoy how this game looks. There's no release date scheduled for Yokai Inn, as it's still early in development, however, it is planned for PC mobile and Nintendo Switch. I often see comments on my videos about how there's not that many great farming games on mobiles. If you do have any suggestions for mobile games, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, hopefully this game might change everything and might be a great alternative for farming games on mobile. So let's keep an eye out for Yokai Inn. All right, next. So a few weeks ago, I made a video featuring three upcoming magic themed farming games. So if you have not watched that video, I really do recommend it because there's very interesting games in this one. But it turns out that there's quite a few more of these. So the next two games on today's list will also be magic themed. And the first one is called Witchbrook. And I was very recently made aware of this game by a viewer during a live stream. I forgot their name unfortunately, but thank you for letting me know about this game. And if anyone has other game suggestions to add to one of these videos, please don't hesitate to let me know. Anyway, back to the game, it's called Witchbrook, it's an isometric pixel art game, 
in which you are witch in training on the road to graduation from magic school. You will have to attend classes and complete assignments in order to develop your magic skills, learn new spells, and after classes you'll get to make friends, grow some magical crops, do some fishing, just the usual stuff. There's no trailer yet for this game, so I'll just keep it short and hope you enjoy these early screenshots. Witchbrook is being developed by London-based indie developer and publisher Chucklefish, and platforms and release dates have not been confirmed yet, as the game is still very early in development, and the developers want to make sure that the game gets all the time it needs to be well-polished, and that the team is also not under any stressful time crunch or anything like that, so they're taking their time and it's perfectly fine for me, we have lots of other games to play in the meantime, but if you want to keep an eye out on Witchbrook or any other games featured in this video, links will be in the description. So as I said, the next game is also magic themed, and this one is called A Garden Witch's Life. This one has a trailer, and as you can see, it's a very cute 3D game. In this one, you're also a witch, and you'll get to create your own garden. It seems like you'll be able to move things like furniture freely, both outside and inside your farm, and then you will grow crops that can be used for potions and spells. And I think the cooking and potion brewing mechanics seem very interesting. In the trailer, you can see the player cutting some carrots and putting ingredients in the pot. So I'm hoping we get some kind of mini games or things to do instead of the typical automatic crafting mechanics. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to knowing more about the potion system. And this game also seems to be filled with adorable creatures such as these fluffy bunnies. Also, we get these little tiny fiery slimes and possibly many more. So it's just like a very cute game. You're also going to be able to befriend villagers, participate in festivals or simply take naps on the grass whenever you'd like. And if you feel like it, after your nap, you can go out and explore the island in order to uncover its secrets or even find some materials to improve your tools. You can already wishlist a garden witch's life. Actually, my only problem with this game is that the title is so hard to say for me. I don't know. A garden witch's life. And yeah, so there are no release dates yet for this game, but it will be available in early access. So make sure you wishlist it on Steam if you want to know when the early access starts. Alright, last one. So this one I just found out about and I think it's a very interesting one. Dreamland Village Life lets you create your character and live in a village where you can farm, raise livestock, cook, forge, brew potions, catch bugs and even do other interesting things such as diving rowing a boat, gliding, just like in Breath of the Wild or Genshin Impact. You can also play some minigames. And on top of all of these things, it's a turn-based RPG. So if you need a break from the village, you can just go out and fight dragons or other monsters. So you can choose an occupation between warrior, magician, reaper, archer, and priest. And you can also ask the villagers you befriended to join your party. By the way, all villagers are super cute and they have names inspired by food and drinks such as candy, mayonnaise, coffee, wine, soda, and yeah, they just look so adorable. So if you're into the anime style characters, I think you might love them and you might love this game. And personally for me, I really enjoy turn-based RPGs, so I hope the combat is fun and worth it. And I think this game has the potential to really make the game feel different from other farming sims. Another interesting fact about this game is that the in-game time will be synchronized with the real world, just like in Animal Crossing. I personally like this feature as it creates a different experience from your typical farming sim. However, I do hope that there's the possibility to do a lot of things in a day for those times that we want to play for hours, which sometimes can be difficult with games that are synchronized with the real world time. To be honest though, I do have some issue or fears with this game so far and from what I can see I know it's early gameplay footage that we are seeing in this trailer but some elements seem very unfinished or clunky such as the soil when farming it doesn't match at all with the rest of the game and the farming looks all a bit weird to me so I hope these assets are just placeholder and that the final product will look better so I'm just being cautious with this game because there are some elements that I'm not too sure that I like or not. 
So yeah, but overall I think this game has a lot of potential and it's also being developed by Macaron Studio which is a team of 18 people based in California and while there are no release dates yet, the game is planned to come out for PC and Nintendo Switch. Also, a Kickstarter campaign will start on November 20th, which is tomorrow, so once again the link is in the description if you want to check it out. As of now, I'm not aware of what are the Kickstarter bonus or perks that you can get, but if you're after November 20th, please make sure to check that out. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you were able to discover some new games to add to your wishlist through this video. Let me know which one you're the most excited for. For me personally, I think I would have to pick Yokai In. Just the art style really captivates me. It looks so beautiful and I like that the game implements some Japanese folklore elements. And also the in management features sound very interesting. So I'm gonna make sure to keep an eye on this one specifically. But yeah, let me know what you all think. And if there's any games that you think should have been on this list that also I have not included in any of these previous videos because I made quite a few of these upcoming farming games videos. So please make sure to check those out. But if there's any other game you think I should mention or talk about in a video, please let me know in the comments. And please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And also I would like to say a big thank you to our members. So I've actually introduced memberships to this channel a few days ago. There's already a couple of you that have joined and decided to support me and I really, really appreciate it. If you guys would like to see all the perks and everything that you would get, you can click on the membership thing just below the video and you will see everything will be there so yeah thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support and i'll see you all in the next video